Oh, man. I don't even know. I don't know where to begin. I don't know where to start. Honestly, man. Like, this whole thing has been <laughs> an experience. I'll tell you that. Definitely an experience. Like, it's been rough. By no means is it easy. And never thought it would be. But to this extent, <laughs> y'all. This shit wild, bro. This this is my whole take on the thing, man. I haven't been making no content. This has been rough trying to get into the flow of even doing this. I'm gonna just do some raw, unedited, don't care, you know, speak my mind. Hey, I mean, I mean, let's start off the top here. I made some little talk, talking points. Let's just start it off. I mean. Again, <laughs> HCS, man, like, is this what you're doing to hardworking people? Like, I know it's not. And it, it can't be intentional. If it is, y'all motherfuckers evil, bro. Because, again, just for people that might be even interested in competing, there is no way, <laughs> no way they're going to know all this information off rip of what they need to know, especially with how these tournaments are set up now, uh, these monitors, <laughs> these TOs, these, you name it, man, like, who are y'all catering to, like, for real, like, nah, uh, it, I don't know. First off, like, we go to these tournaments, as Sirius said, you know, each computer is different. Some have slight hardware differences, you know, so there is a variable right there because nothing is the same shit and nothing is set up the same. Like, and you expect this to be an even playing field and it's supposed to be competitive? Like... And then, on top of that, bro, it seemed like your own officiators, offici refs, whoever, TOs, it's like they don't even care. Or they are not trained properly. And then you get all these third-party people, these security, these medical services. They're over here lying to certain people, letting certain people in. The most recent attorney, uh, before whatever's current now, I was there for two days. On the third day, you want to say my test is not correct and I can't get in? Uh, again, after I spend money to get there and I wasn't sick, this is the type of shit y'all pull, man. I ain't saying it's right. I ain't saying it's wrong. But this is the type of shit y'all pull. And if it's not intentional, well... God dang it, bro. This is like three times in a row. Y'all have burned us. You know? I... Shit's rough, man. I I don't know what the community think. Like, what do you think your whole your community thinks about this? Or do you even care? Because majority of them are kids. And that's all fine. You know, but they're younger kids. There's teenagers. Like, you're not setting an example for anything of how competitive should be, especially in a triple A title. Like, you got all these other games, Valorant, CSGO, fucking <laughs> PUBG, fucking, for the most part, it seems like the integrity of those types of games are upheld more. I don't get it. Like, I don't get it. And then, what's up with the monitors being, again, all different? Well, not all different, but one side has um, free sync on, the other side free sync off. So you're already putting the whole team at a disadvantage. Whoever sits at that station, depending on what side has what on. 
And it could be people going around, you know, sabotaging stations. We have heard a tournament official say that. There's creeps that do that shit. Scum, losers, whatever the fuck you want to call them, man. But if there, if you know people are doing that and you're telling us about that, wouldn't that make you, the person that's in charge, do something about that? Like, uh, you know, um, equipment checks before a match, you know, checking all the monitors, making sure everything's the same, you know, actual officiating. That would be the, you know, real thing to do, but, you know, integrity. What the fuck is that? Who who knows? <laughs> I'll digress. You just, you're making it hard for people that actually want to do this, you know, that maybe have been wishing they could have done it when they were younger, you know, not just me necessarily, but, you know, now that I can actually fund myself, don't have to, you know, go to mommy and daddy when I was younger. I never did anyway, besides when I was, you know, 15 or whatever, if I was already working then and playing sports, three sports to be exact. But anyway, it's not about me. You would think you would want to draw a bigger crowd. You know, I can't pull the source at the moment, but I mean, look at the first tournament. We know it was a kickoff kickoff tournament. It was before Christmas. So, of course, you're going to have a lot of people turn out. And Halo hasn't, you know, wasn't doing anything tournament wise big for a long time. At least as for go HCS. And then the tournament at the rally number goes lower and then another tournament goes by and the number goes lower and then the only way these pots are growing for these tournaments is from skins that you have what people buying fans or whatever buying in the game so that's just going to the pot for these tournaments I don't get it man it seems like Today's age of gaming, just in general, I might be going off on a tangent here, it's just all about DLC. DLC that you can buy. Extra shit that really doesn't even matter that you you get to see part of, but... Ooh, cool, Amari. Spartan has glowing arms. You can't see the flaming head until you're out of the match or die. Uh, you're just you're having these people buy all this stuff for what it's digital you can't take it with you as of yet it's not a fucking nft or nothing like you can't trade it and then when the new game comes out that's that's the end of it you just got it for that game i mean we're putting out these games uh i might be talking about call of duty here is every year halo obviously not but still, you guys are following that formula. <laughs> Again, where where is the competitive aspect of it, man? Where is the caring and kind individuals that actually want to make something big of this besides my team? And then, you know, the fu- the few people that follow Sirius and the rest of us, like, I don't get it, dog. There's just so much shit, you know? You, you're giving pros granted you give them pros special treatment even though they're from a different game you say there's no on-site testing and then (laughs) you know my boys go do some vigilante shit they find out there's on-site testing after we go to the counter all we had to do is say pro all we gotta do is say we're fucking pro and then Oh, yeah, yeah, here you go. You can go get some tests. Why not? On day three of the last recent tournament. Make it make sense, man. I I don't know, man. Like I said, this whole thing's been rough. Like, this, this, we're just talking about the, the being in the competitive type shit. Outside of it, it's just as bad. 
we got to work full-time jobs. Some of us working two jobs. On top of trying to make videos like this, talk to talk to the people, the community about actually what y'all think cuz it's not look, we don't care about losing. Losing is how you learn, man. What mistakes did I make? You know? But at some point, something's got to give because it's not just all our mistakes. You know, there's too many coincidences, too many things that just add up over time, man. You can see it. There's patterns, pattern recognition on some AI shit, on some bot shit, man. Like, <laughs> you can <laughs> you can see this stuff that be happening. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Like, life, this life shit, we, we got one teammate. We had to move out from his current location. We got another teammate and some, well, our cameraman's in baby mama drama. Sirius got to work two jobs, teach Dallas how to drive, and just grow up, which he has tremendously, a lot. And then on top of that, we got Zach, you know, Mr. Loner Stoner. He just, he's just Zach. Zach just does what Zach does. You know, but the problem is, even with us, we have cohesion, but there's no cohesion. Cohesion. You know why? Because of how shitty life is. All of us are sweating dick every day just to get a chance to do this shit. Just to get a chance to do this shit. And then when the stuff that we find out that happens at the tournaments happens, how do you not lose full? How do you not lose full, dog? You know? Like, for real, this shit starts from within and also with competitive integrity. Let me just keep it simple. Starts with us, and it, and it starts with competitive integrity. You know? There's just too much outside, you know, bullshit that happens all the time. Everybody, oh, yeah, I want to do this. I want to do this for real. All right, well, you got to have money to do this. You, or do you work? Can you get the time off? No? Just for example, I'm a fucking construction manager, dog. Like, <laughs> fucking A, man. Like, you got to have money to do this shit. And, yes, sometimes teammates will need help. And I have no problem helping teammates at all. I have no problem with helping people. As long as I know they're not going to burn me. But you know, there's just so many outside life situations, man. You know, we thought about getting a team house. That was the first idea I brought up when I first met these dudes. I was like, hey, we should get a team house, you know. If I got to go find a different job or be a manager somewhere else, I will. I'll do that. Because Why? Because this is something I want to do. You know, everybody talks passion, this. Oh, I really want this shit. Okay, we the ones that's really showing up. You know, despite what people think of us. Despite what people say. Because we know. We know damn well we can compete. We know damn well we can play. You know? You get Agent Smiths out of nowhere that just come to these tournaments that just want to talk shit. You know, think they know any... <laughs> think they know something and don't know a damn thing. Anything, you probably friends with all the other booty warriors that hang with each other. Go along, get along, gang. But you know what? That's why I don't give you time of day. You know? Besides your little highlight discussing it right here. Other than that, you go and look people up on Twitter. You go look people up, man. Oh, I ain't even gonna say no names. Y'all know who y'all know the ones who be looking up. Come on, man. But anyway, yeah, this life shit is rough. It's hard to get momentum to do this because of all the outside distractions, man. And me and Siri's been trying. We try to tell people from day one. Look, if this is something that you want to do, it can't be no one foot in no one foot out type shit you know you got to commit fully 
fully to this if this is something that you want. You know, some of us are really willing to change, maybe change or specialize in different careers, if you will, just to get this shit done. What team you know do shit like this? Go through shit like this? The the many videos that we put up exposing shit, talking about shit, being for real, you know? Like, because at the end of the day, we don't care about, oh, uh, you can't prove this, you can't. The proof is right here, man. We got the video evidence. We showed you. We told you what's up. We got you. We got talking to pros. We got talking to TOs. We got the tournament footage. What more do you want from us? Seriously. Because you ain't getting the soul. <laughs> you ain't getting that, dog. I'm sorry. That's just linked. Can't have it. Can't have it. But you know, all we want is a chance to shoot our guns back fairly in an equal playing field. That's it. We'll do the rest. Come on, man. But again, we gotta get, we gotta come together as a team. Whether not just the end game, the end game shit that'll that'll be there. The outside of the game, that's what's gotta get taken care of, man. For real. And once you take care of that, everything else will come to you. Just come right along. Uh, and then on top of that, just I'm just rambling today, but I want to put out something. I got to find a new place to move, which sucks, but I got to find a new place to move. Meanwhile, we're discussing about potentially getting the team house, which won't happen soon because ninjas ain't ready and some ninjas don't want to commit. <laughs> What do you do? You know? So here I am. You got to go get a 12-month lease somewhere because I ain't going to buy a house. No point. Not with this market. You know? Go rent somewhere until, I guess, ninjas, you know, get their act right. It is what it is. It just sucks, man. Like, all I want to do is fucking compete. I wish I can just fucking come home practice I can't I can't play this shit every day I mean I could try but I gotta refinance a car I gotta fucking you know get my bills in order even though my bills are in order I wanna make sure shit is as cheap as possible for me so when I can leave I can do it like that gotta, gotta take care of business man sucks sucks today I can I'm, it's Monday I'm taking time I actually record some for y'all, you know, just speaking, just speaking to the people, speaking to the game community, the competitive gaming community, whoever. This life shit ain't no joke, man. But when you really want to do something, you'll make it happen by any means. If you truly engaged and love what you do or like doing it, what you commit yourself to, man, no different from marriage. Minus the ring. <laughs> oh, man. Fucking buffoonery coonery, man. Moving forward. I don't know what... I, like I said, I don't know what we're going to do. All niggas can do is just, you know, get money all summer. Stack up. Hopefully some things turn around. Uh... It's really hard to say right now. I mean, obviously, we're going to keep going. Come on. <laughs> Come on now. But, you know, we just had a little stale. It's just a little stale at the moment. It sucks. Like, I want to say there's not a whole lot to play because I've been revisiting some old games I never got to play through. But, I don't know. Just gaming in this day and age is just taking a weird, a weird turn, man. Like. You already know. Twitch got weird. Hot tub streams. Advertisements about from Trojan. What's in your loadout? Huh? Nigga. 
You don't need to know what's in my what the fuck. What's in your little life? Yeah, man. Like ASMR farting. Like it does look kids on this website. And yeah, oh yeah, you can viewer discretion is advised. You can fucking set your audience and whatever, but Twitch was never like that. You know? All the skimpy eat that outfits. The all it is is just, you know, a gateway. It is. It's a gateway. You know why? Because motherfuckers put their link trees on Twitch or whatever to other shit that they do <laughs> for entertainment. Whatever. You know, you know, you know what it leads to. OF, nigga. Only fans. Come on. Not all. I'm not saying all. At all. But, come on. Y'all gotta get with the program, dog. Like, this shit was never like this, you know? Motherfuckers, I remember motherfuckers used to be roasted, you know, for gaming. Eh, that was way back. I wouldn't say roasted, but if you're like a nerd and didn't do anything else, yeah, you getting roasted, dog. But if you was a nerd and you played sports, oh, yeah, nobody can tell you nothing. And you get good grades, and nobody can tell you nothing. That was me. That is me. Come on, man. <laughs> now it's fucking anime, anime titties, waifu. Motherfuckers scared to show their face. Got to hide behind a anime character. I get it if you're a fan of shit, but when you start making them trolling accounts, bro, nah. See. People make them trolling accounts because they don't want to show their face when they actually voice their actual opinion. Which is sad because it's an opinion. That's your thought. And you know how opinions go, bro. Come on. Everybody can have one. You ain't got to agree at all. Yeah, man. It seems like some people just show up just to <laughs> sabotage, appear just to sabotage. I don't know, man. But you know what? We will move forward. We will move forward. You know why? I had to get happy real quick. I was getting all doomer. Doomer on me. Doomer. <laughs> nah, cheer up. I got cheer up. You know why? Because moving forward, BG, our group, we want to build a brand, dog. And we want to build an actual good brand. Not none of this, these gimmicks and phase up, you can do it too, bullshit, none of that, man. Like, an actual brand for gamers, you know, the ones that actually built different. You know, we built a little different out here, you know. We want to do the tech. We want to bring y'all tech. We want to bring y'all apparel. We want to bring y'all a lot of stuff, man. Plus the content, you know live vlogs you know if we if we all had a team house you know we could all be in there acting the fool bouncing ideas off each other actual chemistry instead of this over the internet bullshit you know we see each other once every three months you know i get it you know we all right now live in different places but we need that chemistry we need that bond so we can actually build something for y'all Whole thing in a nutshell, man. Like I said, we'll, we're going to get to it. It's just, it's a bumpy road. It's a bumpy road and my Subi don't like it at all. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Subi's fine. This shit sucks though, man. It's just rough out here. But yeah, if we can get to that brand stuff, hmm, that's going to be a treat. That's going to be a treat, man. We will get to it, not if. We will. But yeah, this is just a unedited, quick, quick live. Me spitting out random shit, cause life sucks right now. A lot of shit going on. But hey, guess what? Gotta keep it moving. Gotta keep going, baby. Can't give up. Can never give up. Until I'm like, mm, I'm pushing fifty. You know, I might have to say. <laughs> 
Okay. I'm gonna have to slow down. Nah, he ain't giving up, man. Like I said, we want to build something for y'all. We want to have fun with this. Actually, want to bring y'all some meaningful content. You know, whether it's game, whether it's life, all. Zen. No Cronus, though. Yeah, man. Questions, comments, concerns, drop them down in the under the video. I'll try to do some more random <laughs> swoosh talks, Nike talks, whatever the fuck you want to call me, man. We just want to get something going. This shit, like I said, is rough. We'll get to it, though, and we'll get through it. I'll catch y'all later. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for, I don't know, more buffoonery and coonery. Because <laughs> you know it's coming. <laughs> yeah. Adi Nike Swoosh, out.